It is April 6th, Monday, and we have another edition of the Pro Football Chase Podcast. It's Isaac Sines with you, and joining me for an interview today is Duquesne running back A.J. Hines. Now, Hines finished his career as the Duke's all-time leader in career rushing yards, rushing touchdowns, and total touchdowns with 47. He was also a three-time first-team all-conference selection and three-time All-American. A.J., how are you doing today? I'm doing good, Isaac. How you doing? I'm doing well, man. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about your stellar career at Duquesne, man. You capped off your career as the NCAA FCS active leader in career rush yards and career total touchdowns. Talk about your four-year tenure there and your satisfaction with all the accolades you've added to your name. Oh uh, man, it's, it's been a it's been a wonderful, wonderful career, wonderful ride at Duquesne. Uh, I thank them every day for what they've done for me and. And, and give me a chance to play, play college football. Um, like I said, I, uh, it's been it's been a great career. It's been a great career. Uh, I met some met some wonderful people on my journey, and I'm just uh, I'm just glad to have do uh, be a part of Duquesne history and and, uh, and have a chance to to be in the NFL and and man, even put Duquesne up there. Uh, we don't really we don't have really nobody in the NFL. Uh, we just got one our linebacker signed to the Steelers and which is which is, which is great. So I just want to I just want to change the history and culture at Duquesne and and get their name out there and hopefully I'll be the first and not the last to 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 make it to the NFL and and and, and bring our name out there. How did you enjoy playing for Jerry Schmidt? Uh, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it tremendously. Uh, he's a, he's a great coach, uh, a great man. Uh, he he taught us many. He taught us many lessons within football and life, which is which is you don't, you don't get too much like you don't get a coach like that too in too many places that uh, that cares about you as a player and a person. And that was that was just something different for me, and I and I thank him every day for that. Regardless of who we are, you know, whether you're pursuing an NFL career such as yourself or just any of us out here, it's important to surround ourselves with positive individuals that will help elevate our production, our performances on many different levels. So for you, AJ, name a couple of individuals that have been instrumental in your development as a person on and off the gridiron. Uh, I'll say, first of all, my parents, uh, they, they, they inspire me every day and and keep my keep my keep my focus and my head straight on, uh, especially my mom. She's a very strong woman, a very uh, independent and uh, and hardworking woman. And she she just taught me that to be the same person growing up. Uh, and my stepdad, he 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 uh, taught me how to ask, be a man and and handle handle myself as a man. And I, I took that and went with it when I went to Pittsburgh, which is eight hours from where I'm from. I'm from North Carolina. So I was up there really by myself. And I, I just thank them every day for just supporting me and having my back through this process and, and and raising me to be the man that I am and be independent and to go places and, and still excel and, and be successful. AJ, you made the transition from high school to college Relatively easy, going for over a thousand yards rushing your first three seasons with the program, which is rare. You see a lot of players coming from high school. It takes a little bit of time for them to develop, to see some production on their name. Some of them even playing the running back position, redshirt a season. But you had immense production early on. So, what factors played into your smooth transition at Duquesne? Uh, I think I had I had some. Some setbacks, and before I I, I came to I committed to Duquesne because I was supposed to, I was first committed to Richmond, and some things happened with them academic wise, and and Duquesne picked me up late in the summertime, so I just I just I feel like I had a, I had a lot of I had a lot of I, it added a lot of fuel to the fire. Uh, after after all that happened, I had a month until until uh fall camp so i really just i really just sat down and, and really focused on just straight grinding 
straight grinding and, and, and wanted to be the best at wherever I went. And just to show people that they missed out on something on a, on, on something great. Uh, I just, like I said, I just wanted to be great. And I had, and I had, I was hungry. I was hungry and I wasn't going to let nobody stop me from, from, from getting to where I wanted to be. And I just thank my trainers that, that, that was with me along the way and, and got me to be in the best shape to, to, uh, for that transition from high school to college. And like I said, I just thank them and I just thank Duquesne for giving me that chance. You were voted as a captain for the 2019 season. So talk about that honor and how you handle your responsibilities as a veteran leader on the team. Uh, it was a big, it was a big honor. Uh, like I used to tell the boy, I told the boys the first time I got picked that I'm, I'm really not a, I really wasn't a vocal leader and they knew that from the jump, but my hard work in the weight room and in school and, and on the field, it just translated and, and that energy translated to, to every every person on the team. And so they, they picked me to be that leader. And so I had to step up and uh, step up as a leader, as a man, to, to help my team be successful. So it was, a, it was a great honor for them to pick me. And uh, I, 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 love my, I love my team. You finished your senior season with 780 yards on 191 carries, six touchdowns. You rushed for over 100 yards six times during your senior campaign and set a school record with 25 career 100-yard games. So what do you want NFL evaluators to see on film about your explosiveness and your versatility as a runner? I just want them to see that – uh, I, I'm, I'm a very smart runner. Uh, I, I find a, I read the hole very easily, and my burst is 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 is, is something to none. Uh, my burst is just very explosive, and I'm a very explosive runner. I run hard, and I'm just not a power back. That's what I want. To I want them to see. I'm an all down back. I can catch the ball. I can I can make moves. I'm I'm slippery to be the uh, to be my size. And my film, my film tells it all. So I just want them to look at that and just to put it all together, and just to show that I am a balanced back and I can do it all, and I do have the speed for the NFL. You brought up the point that you're not just a power back, and so I took a look at your numbers. You put up 46 career receptions for 580 yards, three scores. How can you contribute in the pass game in the NFL? Uh. I feel like I, I'm a I'm a I'm a very good back coming out of the backfield and running good check down routes. Uh, wheel, I can I can do wheel routes. I went scored on two wheel routes my first two wheel routes my freshman year, and and just some other uh, just just uh, any kind of route. I've been I've been training to work on to work on my routes and and uh, and dropping weight down just to get to that to that level where I can be uh every down back. I just been working on that craft and, and making sure that's the that's a that's a check mark in the scouts book. Is there an active or former NFL running back that you like to study extensively? Yeah, I I, I like to study Marshawn Lynch. Uh like I said, I, he he he's a great person on and off the field, especially how he carries himself. I feel like we got the same uh traits. Uh, personality wise and we run we got that beast mode mentality as a running back um we we like we like to bruise people we 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 the type of bats that that when when the second half come that a lot of teams don't want a lot of teams don't want to be hit you all game and i and i and i love that about him and he runs he runs tremendously hard which is which is a part of my game as well so I like to study him and and see and see his uh, attributes and what he got up his sleeve and and how he run and how he carry himself and and uh, and that's what I like to see. What type of skill set do you have in terms of being an effective pass protector out of the backfield? Uh, that's I think that's what really carried me my freshman year to actually be a starter and giving the coaches uh, and give the coaches the trust in me. Because uh, I I understood I understood the pass protection real well, 
and we had a we had a very smart quarterback, and he he helped me out a lot too. So, uh, I mean, that's what my one of my that's one of one of my uh, position coaches. He said that was really uh, really stood out to him my freshman year that how I got the concept down so quickly and, uh, and understood the actual practice protections and where I should be and who I should pick up and where the blitz is coming from. And I think I'm really uh, comfortable with that that aspect of the game. AJ, do you feel confident that you can thrive in any offensive system in the NFL? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I'm a very quick learner. Uh, uh, I'm, a, I'm a studier. Uh, I study. I study the playbook. I study the plays. Uh, and, and once I, once I'm once I'm running them, it's just like second nature to me. So I feel like once I start learning the system and getting comfortable with it, then it's just it's just trying to elevate and uh and thrive. I hear you're going to be having a virtual pro day coming up. Talk about the drills you'll be going through and how you're feeling physically. I'll, I'll be going through doing the forty, doing a uh, shuttle, the twenty yard shuttle, uh, the air cone drill, uh, the bench, broad jump, vertical. And then after after that, I'll probably do some little skill work. At a quarterback is throwing to me, coming doing routes out the backfield. Just a little, just a little something. Just just to show the scouts, uh, get the numbers out there and show the scouts that I have changed and my body has changed. Uh, I've lost 21 pounds since uh since I started training for the uh draft, and I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling very good physically. I'm moving well, and I'm just I'm just ready to show the NFL my talent. AJ, I saw you were listed on the Duquesne website, 5'11", 225. So I'm assuming you got to be closer to the 200-pound range now, huh? My uh, my senior year, I was, I, was, I was weighing close to like 235, 235, close to like 240 range. I gained a little bit of weight over the summer. And so I had to lose that and, and cut down the fat. So I'm right around, I'm right around like two, 217, 219 right now. Gotcha. Now, who have you been training with this off season? What is your daily training regimen look like? Uh, I was training with uh, Bomberito's Sports Performance down in uh, Miami, Florida, Aventura, Florida, and uh, we we used to come in and, and do a lot of do a lot of uh, physical physical work first before we even before we even went out to the field. We used to do a lot of therapy and uh, massage and just getting our bodies healthy for us to perform to the best of our ability, which which is why I picked them because they're so they're so focused on your body and, and, and making sure it's healthy and making and making sure everything is aligned right for you to perform to the to the best of your ability. So so we used to do that and then go go focus on our forties, our forty work. Or if it's a if it's a agility day, we'll do we'll do agility work, focus on our uh our, uh a twenty yard shuttles or the or air cone drill. Then we'll come back in and, and get some uh get some recovery work in. Then do a lift. And we used to be there all day. It was like a job, nine to five, but I thank them. I thank them for for changing my body and and teaching me certain things that I didn't know. And lastly, why should an NFL team take a chance on you? What can you bring to an NFL organization? I feel like I'm I'm a very hard worker. Uh, once I get out there, it's just a whole different. I'm a whole different animal. Uh, I can show I can show people that I'm, I'm I'm I can I can be up against the best and play with the best. And they'll be bringing in a very hard worker that's that that that's a quick learner and come in and, and as he can produce his first year. I feel like I can uh like I said I can feel like I can produce and help the team win games and that's the that's the main thing. That what we go out there and that's what we practice for. That's what we work for is to win games. And I feel like I could definitely do that. Well, AJ, thanks for joining me today for an interview. I wish you nothing but the best moving forward as you continue your preparations for the NFL draft. I hope that the right door opens up for you at the right time, man. So take care. Stay safe out there and blessings to you. I appreciate it, Isaac. You stay safe as well. All right, man. Take it easy. You too.